I was born actually right here in El Cajon, um, at La Mesa, Grossmont Hospital, but uh, we lived in El Cajon, and so I'm a, a true and true El Cajoner. Yeah, well, growing up in my neighborhood was was real nice. You know, I look back with with a, a sense of fondness in it. Um, it kind of does set the tone for where you want to live. You know, um, there was a real sense of family in that neighborhood. Um, you know, from you know the Guthries to the Lumas to the Carmens. You know, I mean, I can just keep going. It's everybody knew everybody. Uh, there was really never any strangers in the neighborhood. It was. Uh, it was real nice. It was peaceful. Um, I, I can totally see what the CDC is trying to do with what, here on Millar. You know, when I envisioned buying a, a house and raising my kids uh, and all that, I didn't really expect to be doing that in a, in a tough neighborhood. Uh, you know, if you asked me a year ago if I was ready to move, I probably would have said I, I'm ready to move. You know, it's uh, I got to get out of here. Somehow I got to find a way to get out of here. But over the last year, it's been uh, it's been a little different. You know, it's uh, it's felt it's felt a lot a lot better i'm really happy with uh, the fact that uh, cdc was actually able to show people a little bit of what they're capable of it's almost like uh it's just almost like they uh, they kind of nudged rather than shoved or 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 sh just kind of led by example even coming together is a little bit um new for us you know we uh the the we had that uh block party which was really cool uh we definitely need to try to get another one going but that block party really uh really loosened up people it loosened up the um the tension i got to see how nice um uh, some of my neighbor's kids were i, I was un I, amazed rogelio's children are some of the most polite young men i've I've ever met. I was I was just blown away by it. I have a I have a two and a half year old that was trying to play ball with the twelve and thirteen year olds and and they kept giving them a turn. You know, to the when I remember when I was a kid, they would have been like, "Listen, kid, it's time for you to scram." You know, and uh, and they just uh, they had a sea of patience and um, and I just it, it reflected on Rogelio to me. It reflected on him as a father and Maria as a mother, and, it, and I just said, well, what nice people, you know, because their children are so nice, you know. The mural is an amazing, an amazing thing because it's still pure. Um, how do you paint that much fence and it stands through... I, I imagine, oh, great, they're putting this fence up and it's going to be so sad the first time someone tags it, you know, and that was what, how long ago? <laughs> so um, I think it's a testament to uh, to how even someone ready to make, uh, put their name and say, hey, look how cool I am, stops and says, I don't think I want to paint on that fence. And so, um, so I'm really glad, you know, that the CDC came through and, and started the ball rolling. Yeah, our neighborhood organization is is like just developing right now and um i think there's a little bit of the same uneasiness that there was in the beginning of linda hand where we're not sure what we're going to be able to accomplish we're not sure what we're going to do but the funny part is is that we're all showing up to do it you know it's because i think that we've seen a little bit of what we're capable of you know we've seen that we we made our lives a little better we we you know, we helped each other have a better neighborhood. From Daryl's house to Rogelio and Maria's house, we, you know, you, it just, uh, all the way down the street, everybody's house looks a little better, a little nicer. And then it seems, uh, it seems like all these people are still willing to do more and that they want it to be a little better. They want it to be, um, uh, they want it to be a nice neighborhood, and they realize that it really is up to us you know, to, to try to reach out and influence it. Um, you know, instantly at the last meeting, uh, everybody was all about, yeah, I, I can throw in a little bit of money. Let's board up that house that um, that's becoming a hotel for transients, you know, and that was something that people were just instantly ready to jump into. Why? Because... We have children, you know, we don't want strangers that have nothing to lose camping out two doors down from our house, you know. And so 
who would actually do that? Who would take care of that? Who would you go to? Well, um, we don't know yet, but we're going to find out, you know, and, and part of that process is um, learning how to do it. And I hope uh, a year from now I look back and, and say, I can't believe how far we've come, like I was just saying earlier. And I hope that we can try to uh, show other neighborhoods um, that this is the roadmap we used. I'm sure you can improve here or there, but this is what got us to where we are today. So, so I have high hopes that uh, that we're going to move forward with it, and that it's going to be successful, and that uh, people will be uh, proud to be homeowners on this street.